morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the 10 minute morning. Today is December the 6th, 2021. How is everybody doing out there today? Um, uh, yes, welcome to the 10 minute morning brought to you by Parrish and Einbecker. Parrish and Einbecker is a Canadian family owned business with roots in the agriculture industry dating back more than 100 years. Founded in 1909, PH is a growth oriented diversified and vertically integrated with operations spanning across grain merchandising, crop inputs, flour milling, and feed mills. With more than 70 locations spanning from coast to coast, the trade links around the globe. P&H supports Canadian producers and food manufacturers who grow and sell their crops and bake goods to domestic and international markets. Also by Beachside Burgers. Burgers are better at the beach. Reach out for gift certificates. They make a great Christmas present. Alrighty. Uh, where am I at? Oh, here. Running into a little technical difficulty again this morning. Makes it just a little bit tougher all the time. The dam window weather. Right now, the dam, it's minus 22. Minus 22. That's chilly. Chilly, chilly. Sun will rise at 8.55. Making legal 8.25. If you see any deer hunters, please report them because the season's over. Uh, noon, at noon, it is minus 16. And by 5 o'clock, it will be minus 14. Chilly day out there today. Sun will set at 4.59, making legal 5.29. Still some geese hunting, that type of thing going on, but there ain't much around. Now that everything is frozen. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Frozen. All right. Looks like uh, tomorrow it's still cold, then it starts to warm up later on in the week. By next weekend, we're back to plus one. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Just to remind you, this is the last week before Christmas break for the 10 minute morning. Alrighty. Oh yeah, technical difficulties days, so you can't see what's going on. Uh, rodeo, the uh, rodeo, rodeo. I just want to mention the NFR is still going on. I have no reports on that other than not to forget about it. And football. Football action. Well, lots of football this weekend. A, the Vanier Cup was on. The Huskies were in Montreal to play Western. And um, the field conditions were not great. Now, I've had this argument before. University football, it's a little bit different. I don't think they can get started before the school year. Football is a sport that should be played in the summer and the fall. Everybody wants to say it is the fall sport. I agree it is a fall sport. But in Saskatchewan, November is not fall. December is not fall. October is borderline fall. Um, it's winter. It's winter. It's cold. It's minus 22. That football game in Laval, semi-exciting because you could tell the foot. It looked like it looked like old people crossing the street when it's icy. Everybody's afraid to get good footing. They don't want to slip and break a hip. Like, uh, anyway, uh, the U of S Huskies were down. They were a major underdog. All the Saskatchewan teams were a major underdog this year. And actually, they fought and clawed their way in it. They, they scored a touchdown at the end to make the, clo the score closer than it was. But they were able to get a short kickoff for at the end of the game. So they were within striking distance. Uh, Western was a good team, obviously. So the Huskies fell a little bit short. Hats off to them for making it to the Vanier. Uh, good on them. And then we went 
Well, and then uh, yesterday, we watched the Ryder game. Ryder games were a major underdog. Also, Winnipeg is the best team in the league. There is zero doubt about it. But when it comes to a one and done like this, Riders had a shot. And they did. They produced six turnovers. Six. They were they couldn't stop the Winnipeg offense. We were a little bit lucky, no matter how you want to look at it. They deserved them. They earned them. They played hard on everyone. Winnipeg was going to score a touchdown in their first possession, bounced off the receiver's shoulder pads. We picked it off. Right? Then the second possession. Uh, and we went to the second possession. Winnipeg had it. They marched it right down. We're going to score. And the guy fumbled it on the one-yard line. We picked it up and returned it all the way down the field. Too bad he didn't get in on that play. He deserved to. Just got a little over-anxious. Um, uh, but we were able to convert that into a touchdown, and we had the lead. I believe we had the lead or tied after all three quarters. Um, we did, and we produced turnover after turnover after turnover. The offense struggled, but you got to remember, BC's the best team in the league. They got the best lines. For, and we, our offensive line has been, and the uh, offensive line did well. Just there was times they walked right through. Fajardo was running for his life sometimes. He overthrew one ball to a wide open Duke Williams, and then he underthrew another ball. You got to remember, though, you're also scrambling for your life. I'm a Fajardo fan. I don't think him and Moss mix very well. I've said that before. Anyway, we had a chance to win it. We got her down. We were, what were we? We were actually winning in the third quarter, 14 10, in the third quarter. And Lowther, who's been money all year, missed the field goal. And those points played in big because at the end, we were down by. Four. We were down by four because uh, Winnipeg did score a touchdown, so it was 17. Uh, yeah, can't remember the exact scores. 21 17. Yeah, 21 17. So we were down by four. We had the ball with three minutes left. And we were down to the third and short situations three times. Survived the first two. Third one just couldn't come up with the ball. Uh, I don't mind them throwing it on third down because our run is so predictable. It, it was working. Anyway, we would have been in field goal range. So without that other missed field goal, not to blame it on a kicker, we could have maybe had a field goal to win that game. Oh, yes. We can say all the excuses we want. Winnipeg's a good team. I, I was reading some things. We didn't produce enough points off turnovers. Lots of those turnovers, we were, we were, we, it was the same as a punting situation. We, we caught the ball at the, within our 35 yard line or right around our 40. So it was no different than a, a punt by Winnipeg and a, and a kick return. Uh, Harris was dominant. Anyway, hats off to the Riders. It was a good year. We ended up second. Uh, we're within a stone's throw going to the Grey Cup. Didn't happen. Again, field conditions weren't fantastic. They were better than they were at the Laval game. I guess pro football, they can afford to do a little more adjustments. Um, that game would have been so much... Well, and we were back because we're, we're of a COVID situation. But of all the years, now the Grey Cup is next weekend, December the 12th in Hamilton. Out of all the years, the CFL... They could have had the Grey Cup in BC. Have it in the dome, nice and warm. Everybody can go out and enjoy the game. Um, if I was a commissioner,